Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of installing a LEMP stack on Ubuntu 22.04. Now, for those who are unfamiliar, LEMP stands for Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. It's a powerful combination that's widely used to serve dynamic web pages and applications. Before we begin, make sure you have a fresh installation of Ubuntu 22.04 on your machine. So, grab your Ubuntu system, and let's dive right in. The first step is to update our package index to ensure we're installing the latest versions of software. Open up your terminal and type the following. By the way, I'm installing on a Ubuntu 22.04 VPS machine. I'm connected to it using SSH. Now that our system is up to date, let's install Nginx, the web server in our LEMP stack. In your terminal, type the following. After entering your password, Ubuntu will ask for confirmation to install Nginx type Y and hit enter. To check the status of Nginx type the following. We can enable Nginx to auto start at boot time by running the following command. Now, enter the public IP address of your Ubuntu 22.04 server into the browser's address bar. You should encounter the Welcome to Nginx web page, indicating that the Nginx web server is functioning correctly. If you're installing LEMP on your local Ubuntu 22.04 computer, instead type 127.001 or localhost in the browser's address bar. If you cannot access the page, enable port 80 on your firewall. Next up, let's install MariaDB, a powerful relational database management system. Once installed, MariaDB server should initiate automatically. Use this command to verify its status. Press the letter Q to exit. To enable MariaDB to automatically start at boot time, run the following command. After the installation, securing your MySQL installation is crucial. Execute the following command and adhere to the on-screen instructions. When prompted to enter the MariaDB root password, simply press the Enter key, as the root password hasn't been set yet. Do not switch to Unix socket authentication since MariaDB already utilizes Unix socket authentication. Also, refrain from altering the root password, as it's unnecessary when using Unix socket authentication. Moving on, let's install PHP, the scripting language for web development. Enter the following command.
PHPFPM Fast CGI Process Manager is needed to handle PHP requests efficiently run this command. Enable it to auto start at boot time by running this command then check its status. Remove the default Nginx server block and create a new one. The default server block provided by Nginx might not meet the specific needs of your website or application. By creating a new server block, you have full control over the configuration, allowing you to tailor it to your requirements. If you plan to host multiple websites or applications on the same server, each with its own domain or subdomain, you'll need separate server blocks for each. Creating a new server block allows you to define the configuration for each site individually. We've got PHP installed. But Nginx needs to be configured to use it. Ensure the fast CGI pass directive points to the correct PHP version installed. Save and close the file. Run this command to test the syntax of the Nginx configuration files. Nginx parses the configuration files and reports any syntax errors encountered. This allows you to identify and fix any configuration issues before reloading or restarting Nginx, preventing potential service disruptions caused by incorrect configurations. It's a recommended step to validate your Nginx configuration changes. If the test is successful, reload Nginx. Let's ensure PHP processing is working correctly. Create a test PHP file in the web root directory. Add the following line, save and close the file. Now, open your web browser and navigate to your server's IP address followed by info. PHP you should see the PHP information page. This means PHP scripts can run properly with Nginx web server. You can research on how to improve PHP performance by editing the default PHP configuration. To enhance your server's security, it's advisable to remove the info.php file now to prevent potential access by unauthorized users or hackers. And there you have it, your LEMP stack is up and running on Ubuntu 22.04. You now have a powerful foundation for hosting your websites and applications. Experiment with different configurations and unleash your creativity. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech guides. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!